The Lord be with you. And also with you. Well, it's really looking festive. I got a note that says, I'll let the people know we need more um, poinsettias. And I'm thinking to myself, we don't have enough poinsettias. <laughs> we got a lot. So I don't know if that note is still um, up to date, but you can still give them. Um, we got papers right on the back table there as the exit if you want to sign up um, and sponsor a poinsettia or something. And this looks like the same way with the poinsettias up in the sanctuary too. So it seems like we're doing pretty good, but we'll, we're a little bit greedy this year. So, uh, and um, that phrase with which I just greeted you, the Lord be with you, packs an extra punch this morning because we're talking about Emmanuel, God with us. Uh, and he's almost with us uh, as that babe of Bethlehem that he came so many years ago. But today we're going to celebrate that with um, song, with the kids program. It's going to be a wonderful worship um, this morning. So let's rise as we begin and sing our opening hymn, From Heaven Above to Earth I Come. God bless your worship. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Until that day, let us walk in the light of the Lord. You may be seated.
there's good news. He does come. He comes with healing in his wings. He comes at his first advent to offer forgiveness of sins. So let's rise as we confess our sins before the Lord. Let us confess our sins before God and one another. Lord, by faith we know you are the Savior of the world, but we have not readily acknowledged you as the Messiah born in the manger or as the one who has overcome the world. Forgive us that we are reluctant to tell others about Jesus. Fortify our faith, inspire our speech. Teach us as we sing. Our meek souls will receive him still. The dear Christ enters in. Lord, we believe. Help our unbelief. Brothers and sisters in Christ, <clears throat> our Lord invites us to come and see what he has done. He has given us solid promises that guard our faith in days of sorrow, confusion, conflict, and pain. He has sent his Son to be his living word of redemption for us in body mind, and spirit. He truly is strong to save by your faith in Jesus. All your sins have been forgiven in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated for our hymn of praise. rise for the prayer of the day. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to help us by your might that the sins which weigh us down may be quickly lifted by your grace and mercy. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated for the readings. Ahaz 
Ask a sign of the Lord your God, let it be deep as Sheol or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. And he said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you weary men that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey when he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the boy knows how to refuse evil and choose the good, the land whose two kings you dread will be deserted. The Lord will bring upon you and upon your people and upon your father's house such days as have not come since the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, the king of Assyria. This is the word of the Lord. The epistle reading is from the book of Romans, the first chapter. Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son who was descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be the son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead. Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations, including you who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all those in Rome who are loved by God and called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord.
please rise in honor of our Lord Jesus for the reading of the gospel. We just sang that wonderful hymn, What Child Is This? And we need to look no further than our gospel lesson to get the answer. So our gospel, according to St. Matthew, the first chapter. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife. For that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from his sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife but he knew her not until she had given birth to a son, and he called his name Jesus. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Please be seated for our next hymn.
so I'm so excited to be spending this last little bit of time at school with you all. And now it's time to celebrate. Do we have any other kids that want to join in? Because we've got so much, too many fun things to do. So if anybody was absent yesterday, it's, it's still okay to come join us. But I have a really special treat for you all right now. I asked some musician friends to come and perform for our class. Are you ready? Well, they're right over here, so why don't we turn our attention and, and put on our listening ears. give them an extra special thank you at the end of the school day today. So now it's story time. I have a really special book I want to share with you. It's one of my favorites. It's called Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house. Yes. You have a better book than this? Really? Well, if it's better than this, Maybe we should all hear it. Is there anything special about it? Did maybe your your Sunday school class write it or yeah. they did? Oh my goodness. Huh. Well, maybe while you go did you bring it today? You did? Oh fantastic. Show and tell, you know? Never know when it's gonna be time for show and tell, so I'm glad you're so prepared. Why don't we have another song by our by our special guest musicians while you go get that book? Can't wait to hear it. Thank you.
"'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the earth, every creature was stirring, awaiting a birth. The time for Messiah was certainly near. The prophets foretold it, the Bible was clear." From the book of beginnings, the very first sin, God's word made it clear how his grace entered in. Born a virgin, he'd come as a man. The creator among us, the time was at hand. The stars were arranged to show marvelous things, set wise men to journey and find the true king. Shepherds in Bethlehem gazed on the sky, longing to see him, the Lord the Most High. How could they know that the very next night an angel of God would speak the words of delight? How the Savior was born, it was news of great joy. In a clothes and a manger, they find the dear boy. A heavenly host would soon joy to sing of the glory of God and, and of wonderful things. He entered creation, set position, possession aside to show us how deeply his love did upside. Sin sent us away from our almighty Lord. He became one of us so we might be restored. He's the prince of our peace, the one of who makes the home. He is the wisdom and heart and the shepherd of souls. together with me. Ready? He's the author of life. He's the ruler of all. He can offer salvation. On his name we call. The shepherds and wise men would bow to adore. Holy God among men, our greatest reward. Can you turn the page for us, please? Awesome job. Let's read another one. Want me to help with this one too? Ready? Here we go. All glory and honor is due to this king. Let all join in worship. Let every tongue sing. Jesus is Lord, all creation proclaims. He's the first and the last. He's always the same. Great job. Thank you. History turned on the first Christmas day when God became a man in a humble display. As we think the manger which he was laid, let our hearts welcome him to the world he made. Thank you all for teaching me such a beautiful message about what Christmas is all about. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful winter break. Parents have fun for the next two weeks. <laughs> and I think we should hear one more song from our guests before we leave for the day.
Thank you, children. Thank you, Stacy. Great job all the way around. Out of the mouths of babes, right? Uh, we hear the good news, the gospel. And in response, we sing our praises in our next hymn. occurred to me while we were singing that hymn that uh, after the wonderful musical offering by uh, Linda and Kevin, thank you, um, we heard bells and I was thinking if we just had whistles, but wait a minute, Stacy came up with her whistles, so we had bells and whistles today, <laughs> bringing it all out and our confession of faith is a little bit different as well. Please rise as we make confession of faith using Luther's explanation to the second article of the Apostles' Creed. I believe that Jesus Christ, the true God, begotten of the Father from all eternity, was also a true man, born of the Virgin Mary, is my Lord, who has redeemed me a lost and condemned person, purchased and won me from all sins, from death, and from the power of the devil. Now with his holy silver, but with his holy precious blood, and with his innocent suffering. serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness. Just as he is risen from the dead, lives and reigns to all eternity. This is most certainly true. Please be seated as we continue our worship and have the ushers come forward for the offering.
Let us pray for the people of God and for all people according to their need. Lord God, you promised the virgin-born son. Oh, sorry. We'll uh, include that in our prayers as well as we got some able uh, health practitioners. Let's continue and we'll offer our prayers there. Uh, who is it that uh, needs the help? Oh, okay. Is that Luthard? Um, all right, we'll pray. Let us pray. Lord God, you are our great physician. You are our healer. You promised to come with healing in your wings, and we pray for our brother right now who needs your healing. We pray that your spirit would be with him. We don't know what's happening, Lord, but you do. Comfort him, heal him, be with all those who are attending to him with their medical expertise and bring him safely uh, back into your graces and our fellowship. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, you promised the virgin-born son to the reluctant King Ahaz, and in the fullness of time, the word became flesh in Bethlehem of Judea. Open our hearts and strengthen our faith to gladly receive your son in the signs where he is present, not in signs of our own choosing, but in your holy word and ordained sacraments. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, preserve your apostolic gospel and your ministers who proclaim it. We pray for Pastor Rob as he continues his retirement. Bless that retirement. Be with him. Comfort him in this wonderful season. Be with Pastor Kevin Kreitzer as well as he deliberates the call we offered him. And be also with his congregation, Bethany and Long Beach, as they are part of the same process uh, which we undergo at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Cause the name and the resurrection of Christ Jesus to be proclaimed faithfully among all the nations, including among us who are all called to belong to him, that the obedience of faith may be brought about in every place. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, it is your will that we live chaste and decent lives in all that we say and do. Preserve all couples who are engaged as Joseph and Mary were. Preserve them to be married in faithfulness and honor that they may come to their wedding day without fear, shame, or disgrace. Since Christ is Emmanuel, God with us, who saves his people from their sins, clothe all brides and grooms in the forgiveness of Jesus, in which all can stand before you cleansed and confident of your blessing, Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, you do not bear with the tiresome flattery and unbelief of kings and rulers forever. Have mercy on us, Lord, and spare our nation. Clear away all empty shows of piety and renew genuine faith in the virgin's son that his coming at the last day may not be a sign against us, but for us. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, you named your son Jesus because he was born to save us from our sins. Give us repentant hearts, therefore. Do not let us bow to temptation or abuse his name by seeking our own way, but lead us to confess our sins and rejoice in his salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Dear God, look with kindness on the sick and those in any need, especially those that we name in our heart right now. Help, save, and comfort and defend them. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your Son, Jesus Christ, who is truly Lord and ruler of the house of Israel. With the Holy Spirit, you spoke to Moses out of the burning bush and gave the law in terror to test your ancient people that the fear of you would be before them. As Moses stretched out his arm at your word to bring Israel out of bondage, and as he stood in the breach against your wrath, so you have given Christ to redeem us with his arms of love outstretched on the wood of the cross. Grant that as we recall with thanksgiving his advent in the flesh, that we may also always confess him and remain watchful for his advent in glory at the last day. For you live and reign ever one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. And Lord, you taught us the perfect prayer, Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his everlasting peace. Please be seated for our hymn of departure. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Great turnout this morning. Our brother Hines is being attended to with paramedics. Uh, he's sitting up unconscious, so it seems like he, the Lord's already answering the prayers. They'll take him to Pleasant Valley Hospital to evaluate, and he has a pacemaker, so maybe something was going on with that. So we'll keep Hines in our prayers. Um, and so uh, what else do we got? Um, Vera's got uh, cards back there, Christmas cards on a deep discount. Okay, there you go, right back there by the media shout team. Um, Phil? <laughs> yeah, we had that jacket drive. So um, it's very exciting with. Uh, all the Advent candles already lit. It's, there's just the tension in the air now, about ready to give birth. And then we'll light the uh, Christ candle, and that's coming up 
Christmas Eve service. We don't have any Wednesday service this week, but Christmas Eve, 5 o'clock right in here with our praise band, 7 o'clock up in the sanctuary, and we, it will be candlelight. So invite your friends. Uh, hope we, hopefully you're not too busy. We'll see you there as well. We're looking forward to that. And then um, might as well announce on New Year's as well, we're just going to have one service. It's Sunday, 10 a.m. service. This is the, the golden hour, 10 o'clock like we had uh, our service here today. Any other announcements? Thank you again for our musicians and child performers. Oh, good. And uh, I think Mrs. Schultz has something also. So a good day to be a kid. <laughs> yes, Christmas Day is 10 o'clock here also. Yeah, well, it's in the sanctuary, but yeah. Yeah, thank you for asking that. Yeah, just one service, yeah. Um, so God bless and go tell it on the mountain. Mm-hmm.